There's Archer again around the wicket. This one tucks up Latham. It's no bat on it. Pad just deflects to Gully and there's no run. Um, yeah, well, I think, as I say, it's a, it's a problem area for me, the move, and for Matty Heath, and uh, certainly for you, Mike Lane. A problem? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't well, I didn't say well, the pro- what's, what's the problem? In actual fact, the only person I'd say that doesn't have a move issue is you, Jerry. You've got a very toned and tight, firm breast. Archer again around the wicket to Latham. He's outside the line of the off stump and he lets it go through to Keeper Pope. Chase, well, you're, 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 you're putting the move in a very negative light from my uh, point of view. I mean, my um, third child who's, who's in here today, I actually nursed him on my bosom. Nothing came out, but it made him go to sleep. Mm. So I used to nurse him as a, a young baby. He'd already nursed his mother until he was full. And when there was none left, the wife would pass him over to me and I would uh, nurse him until he fell asleep. You'd plop out your mood. Yeah. New Zealand 12 for now. And this is the sixth oh. over. Here's Archer again. It's a thick outside oh, edge and it flies between gully and third slip. Down to the boundary for four. A little bit lucky there, New Zealand. But you're going to get that in the first session of a test match. Day one, the ball just doing a little bit. Good delivery from Archer, who seems to be cranking it up a little bit in this over. It's just a little disconcerting, uh, Mike, when you go to the beach and you're dressed in your uh, your speedos and you think you're looking really good and muscular and tight and, you know, uh, getting a few admiring stares from the ladies. Then you go up to the car and you get a side profile of yourself and it's just a massive bare gut and man boobs. It can really break a man. Two slips and a wider slip, almost a gully. Two gullies now for Archer as he comes in. And this time, Latham goes forward, defends it back to the bowler, and there's no run. I can imagine if you are body conscious, I think the best best place you could be is Seddon Park right now on the back of the grass embankment. The Barmy Army there getting all their shirts off. That's a place there's no need yeah. to be ashamed of your body because there yeah, is... Yeah, you just want to get, get with those guys for yeah. sure. Latham. In facing Archer. This one's fuller. Uh, asking Latham to drive. He missed times at two mid off, and there's no run. It looks like a little bit like a seal colony, colony doesn't it? Probably smells similar, I yeah, imagine. Yeah. Geez, have you smelt? Have you smelt a seal? You can smell them from. You can smell them before you can see them. Seals. And I'm picking that's pretty similar to uh, most of those English supporters. You could probably smell them yeah. before you could see them. That smell of stale lager. Well, you're right in many respects. I mean, you're very very proud of your man boobs and actually we were talking in the first test you know and I've reached an age where uh, for so many things I just don't care anymore you've given up I, I, I just don't care anymore you know I've got other things to worry about than my man boobs um, but you know for a moment for a flickering moment in the in the bathroom mirror after my shower I have a moment of disillusionment yeah but then I quickly pull it back well, that's great to hear, Jace. I suppose, look, growing moves is better than growing a female downstairs. That would be, I'd probably struggle with that. Well, would you say, ACC and Hodeki here, G Lane, that you grow a female downstairs or do you reduce yourself into? Oh, yeah. Okay. Is it reduced to a female downstairs? That's what I feel like I'm on the way to as Broad comes in to Reval, two slops, well, well, and well, uh, well. he drives. But he can't beat mid off. There's is, no run. Is that a usage issue um, in terms of it? Just decreasing so much it eventually inverts. Is that a is that a use thing? Is it you know if it obviously it's na- like na- an inverted nipple. Yeah. So if you don't use it, well, I tell it you, it puts itself away. I've, use it or lose I've it. I've talked yeah. about this a lot um, over the years and in the ACC. And I used to have a phenomenal ass, it's a really cute butt. But I find as I get older, it's just beginning. To, I'm beginning to absorb it into my body. Brought again around the wicket to Reval. This is full and the stumps. Good length actually. Asking some questions, Raval defends it. I've got a theory on that, Jace, because um, I'd like to think that, you know, during my cricketing and rugby days, I, I too had quite a power bottom that used to sit up, sit tight, through my 20s as well. But then I got a job, and I sent a lot of my job seated, and I feel like my behind is pancaked, and now it's flat, lifeless. Broader again, this one straightens a little bit. Nips away off the seam, but he lets it go through to the keeper, and there's no harm done. Uh, a bit like the pitch in Mount Monganui. It was flat, and after a while, a crack started to open up. It's dried up, and it's just... I don't know what to do with it. Well, you, you think of an 80-year-old man's ass. 
and it's really just a kind of flappy wastage, isn't it? It's it's uh, there's no roundness or firmness to it. It's just really kind of tired flesh. Two slips, two gullies as Broad comes in again. This one outside the line of the off stump. Forces Reval back and there's no run. Is that why there's a distinct... I don't want to go... You know, I don't want to bring it down to this level this early in the but test. But you match, will. But I will. Is that why there's a distinct oral tone to grandfathers who pass wind? There's a certain flappiness in, to it. The ho- a certain... Know, yeah, like the muscles have given way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's a sloppy, slow clap. Comes yeah. Out, rather than a... I think it would affect the timber of your wind. Reval's sure. on five. Swans into the pads and tries to work it through square leg, but it's well fielded and there's no run. I tell you what, uh, fellas, good start this from New Zealand. They're looking really solid. Um, of course, that could all change in the scope of one uh, ball. I'm not going to say, what have you done there, What have you done there? No, 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 but, you know, they've been beaten a bit. You know, there's a bit of tentativeness there, so they're not completely solid, but... Uh, reasonable start from New Zealand I was just going to say Jace the ball not really beating the bat a lot good leaving from New Zealand I know I was trying to reverse my commentator's curse there Broad comes in again this oh. is fallen edge Jesus oh, Christ first slip. Jason Hoyt Jesus. the commentator's curse Raval gone for five finally Broad gets it right and uh, Raval tries to drive the ball just left him a fraction maybe just held its line and it was the simplest catch to first slip, and Jason Hoyt has taken the first wicket for New Zealand. Caught Hoyt, bold Hoyt. Massive apologies there. I um, I did try and reverse what I was saying, and well, you can't reverse it. You can't reverse a curse. I mean, what was the point in what you were saying? I mean, I was just saying it was a very solid start. Yeah, you just didn't need to say that. Sixteen I, for none. I know has now become sixteen for one.